We have here a group of five books that are all related to education in the United States. This first one is a very nice binding of the era. Uh, it's a modeled calf, and it is 1818, uh, American Orator by Increase Cook. And we see that the paper is toned, but uh, it is still uh, a sound book that retains its um, structural integrity. Uh, interesting assortment of topics within this. It's a fun book to read, actually. Second one is this well-known Putnam's sequel, again, in a period full leather binding, like school books of this era often were. It's 1832, printed in Dover, New Hampshire, where we are right now. And Samuel Putnam, and we see here it's his analytical uh, reader, skills of teaching, uh, use of language, and word structure, and so on. And then we've got these three here. This one is in a period, uh, paper cover boards with a leather spine uh, binding, and it is 1841 Boston. It's the thorough base primer, uh, rudiments of harmony. This is for music education in the United States, so this is an interesting work uh, to teach that topic. And this one here is a paper covered boards uh, over a leather spine. Um, we've got 1854, and it's for the use of schools. Like so, Chemistry and Geology uh, by Emerson Kent. There's a small little woodcut illustrations in the appendix there. And then I think there are a few more scattered throughout, like so. Yeah, it's an interesting book right here. Very interesting, actually, linked to chemistry. Okay, and the final book in this group is this interesting publisher's cloth with this nicely bossed uh, patterned boards and a gilt spine says the little speaker and it is 1865 right at the end of the Civil War You've got a woodcut frontispiece here of a child in a classroom it's prose poetry and dialogue for how to teach uh, children how to speak properly uh, I can think of a number of people that could use uh, lessons and how to speak properly uh, starting at the top let's see we got Charles Northend here. And so this group of five uh, educational books uh, is available now as a lot online from me, Brian DeMambro.